Hey love bugs, it's Riles. I'm back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, as always, thank you so much for the love and support. It is truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. Many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while, have not already, please drop a line. I would love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to no more and if you feel like the videos just give you a good vibe or something you need it for today please give a thumbs up and share i'll be greatly appreciated so um you know sending so much love light you know uh comfort whatever you're needing through these holidays you know it, it can be a good time for a lot of people but a lot of times it can, it can put you in the mood and i just, I, I believe in all of it <laughs> you know so i'm sending all that towards you just to uplift you and just keep you centered and balanced so you know just in that out anybody with low vibration the various vibes whatever you're trying to do to seek destroy distract you know whatever you're trying to do that's not going towards the you know uh uh vibrations of hive just trying to no everything's going to be blocked and going right back towards you I ain't even going to that and breathing that today but anyway the video i'm doing today is called twin flame 101 Heoka's history is coming back to test you. Uh, but uh, being heavy in discernment, I'm showing that you study. You know, there's a lot of different things that's going on. You know, I've been trying to put so much different content. I'm like, uh, I ain't trying to do that. I ain't trying to talk about stuff like that. But it's just like, it was got it for me to talk about that. Um, it's just, just like you, you've gone through a lot. You've really gone through a lot. You know, uh, even if you haven't, you've probably been going through a lot of changes in your life and really trying to say, Lord, what are you trying to take me through? Are you trying to put me out? And stuff like that. And it, it can be certain things that just back to back to back to back to back. You clear off one thing and a hundred things come coming right back at you because it's just like, hey, I need you to I need you to be on top of stuff. You need to you be ten toes down with yourself. You know, these are the different things you're going through. It's teaching you a lot. These are the different things that's really, you know, you know really putting you through some changes and these are the different things that you know you can really learn from absolutely you learn from everything you go through but it'll be a lot of times you when you start clearing history you know with yourself it'll be a lot a lot of people that are going to start coming back into your life you know whether you know y'all stop talking or y'all had a, a you know a breath you know situation and you just broke it off stop talking to people or you know you start to get a lot of friend requests from people like who is that i know i know that person oh okay you know be those different things and it's just trying to show you are you going to bring them back into your life you know you see what happened last time you know different things like that you're learning from it and you, you know and these are the different things it's not coming back to you know bring anything back into your life but it's just a part of growth you know just seeing if you really have really learned from these situations you know everybody is in your life for a reason a season lesson and a blessing and these are different things that comes into your life that that is just a better part of growth because that's what you know we're going through right now you're stepping out on faith you're going through huge transitions you know um there's uh different things is uh taking place into your life where you know you're seeing things from a broader perspective and um you know, really trying to understand, you know, these are the different things that I'm going through. I'm going through heavy changes. Um, I'm really having to understand myself from a, a, a different vibe. You know, I'm just stepping out on faith and really just just trying to do different things better. Or, you know, when, when it's allowing yourself to not be in your own way. You know, not allowing, you know, what other things that are totally out of your control, you know, take place into your life that really will, you know, mess up your judgment in life. So it's just like when you're doing all these different things, it's like... So much stuff is coming back just to see, you know, hey, did you learn from these situations? You know, are you are you really allowing yourself to, you know, branch out? Because a lot of times when, when things start getting heavy into our lives, a lot of times it's not always happening, but it can happen a lot. Where we sometimes we fall back in uh, in different situations because it feels familiar. It feels comfortable. We, we get stuck into our comfort zone and this is at a time. No, you know, we're not going backwards. We don't fall back like clocks. We spring it forward and staying going forward. You're not going through that. You know, you don't go back to what's familiar. You're needed on where the unknown is. You know, I was saying that the other day in a video and it's just like, you know, you're heavy on that quote. You know, don't go back to what's familiar. You know, you go back to the different things, you know be different things in your life where you're, you're needing to you know uh be on that vibe of something that's really new into your life but you know a lot of times things will come in it'll be it'll be like you know remind me of i forgot what movie that was it's like the girl had all this good stuff going on next you know x came back in you know and it, and it was just coming I'm like hey you know i got all this new stuff coming on what, what is doing they're just trying to test you 
Cause you, it, it could have been this could have been that ex that really you know it was having like dad I got a weak spot for her or I got a weak spot for him and all this different stuff and it's just like this is where that time is you you can't be standing on that weakness you got to be heavy in your strength you know you be able to understand what was this you know it, it was this something that was really you know because sometimes and, and put it that way let me allow myself to retort because a lot of times we have to branch off from people because you had to go on through your moments of healing just like this person had to go through their moments of, of you know healing as well and then when everything was in that main balance they had to come out you know because it could have been that person that you were really meant to be with and then it had to be on that point where you're doing the work they're doing the work you're healing you're healing you know it's, everything's going through that vibe and then when it finally came back then you initially come back kind of like twin flame Thing. but it be something like that but a lot of times if you already know it's just like certain things is taking place into your life where you know stuff is really getting real you know really really real you know it's just like i already know i'm getting like real sensitive could be certain things on tv and it'll be really triggering to me I, i'm getting angry with a lot of things i've been seeing out and i'm just like i'll watch it i'm like why am i allowing myself to watch this because i'm ready to come on i'm coming through the tv on certain people the way they're doing stuff and it's so selfish but it'll be these different things is it is it, coming back because you know when you're very passionate about something I, I, you know it's just like when you're an empath you can't stand injustice you can't stand it when people are trying to get make moves over other people for their selfish reasons and stuff like that and so it, it just allows me to understand you know you go through a lot of stuff like this and you know i get mad at certain things and it was just like i can't be so judgmental because i was in that vibe at one time so you know it's just like don't be judgmental towards people we're all in our moments of of healing we're going to be on that part, you know, where we got to say no. You know, we got to hey, you can't go keep going back to that. You already see this is toxic. You already see this is not, it's not, it's stunting you. It ain't growing you. It's keeping you back. It's holding you back. It's blocking blessings and all this stuff. And then it'll be this, this is, you know, this is that vibe where you got to spring out for yourself. You don't know what you deserve within yourself. When you start learning your worth, you know, I, I went through that. And it, it, it's not all about, you know, love or relationships. It was like relationships, period. If you already know, it's, it's just like you can't tell this person certain things or you know or this person is always comparing or you know this person feel like it's in competition with you and it, it don't feel like it it can be a family dynamic type situation it could be a you know ace boom coon you know you know uh what would they call a bestie you know all these different things and it, you know you want to be around people that you know y'all vibe is is reciprocating it's not that fake flexing you know stuff like that where they always got to be one up in you or always trying to smear stuff into your face but somebody actually want to contribute towards that or actually be even if they can't contribute towards that they're in that vibration of supporting you in that like, hey if this is what you want to do hey you know is there any kind of way i can help you know, these are the different things I see you're very passionate about. That and I want to be able to, you know, if that person cares about you in any kind of way. It don't have to be a lover. It could be just a friend or a family member. If they really see, it's like, I see I, I see how your, your face lights up when you talk about different things. When it comes to these different projects. So you, you really feel happy about that. You're very passionate about that. You know, can we be friends? You know, your friends is going to want to be that supportive to you. Or, they, you know, these are the type of people that they, they want to breathe in your name when it comes to new opportunities. They're not just saying their name like, hey, I got a friend that's, you know, on that same vibe and want this. Well, you know, I want to be able to give the information as that. Or there'll be somebody who'll just be on a hush and be like, mm, ain't better tell them about that because I already know they've been, mm -mm. You, you know, be on that selfish vibe, you know. But these are the different things that's going on into your life where it's like history re really is repeating itself just to really test you. You know, there'll be a lot of different things and I was going to keep that into another content, but is coming into that there's a lot of people going to be making trying to make peace into your life all these branches is trying to bring in like hey you know we can we bring in truth but you don't know what kind of vibe that is because this is just like you know if somebody send you a shoot you a text and you know you didn't speak to that person in a minute or you know somebody's stopping by your house and stuff like that like hey you know let me let me get back with you you know i'm really you know, I got a lot of stuff going on right now, and I really want to be able to chat with you. But, you know, hey, you know, like, give me your number or whatever, and we, we'll chat later. And you you sit with yourself for a minute. What is this about? You know, if you're good, good, good you really sit with yourself. It could be a person that you really missed or a person that you really love. But if you already know what that vibe was on the last couple of times or, you know, something that just ain't sitting right with you or something that you ain't touching, it, it's your, it, that, that's your vibe, that's your gut. Because there's a lot of things you're going through, stepping out on faith, going through a huge transition, going to a, a, a big thing of growth. Now it's like, go with your intentions, your intuitive, your gut, 
whatever is telling you, don't be going off of what people are telling you. Because if you, you go off of what people are telling you and you still feeling that vibe, like, uh-uh, no, it's not right. You, you got to be able to, I'm going with my gut. I'm going to trust me because me ain't going to try to hurt me. I, you, you questionable. You know, it, it, it could be something that that person's seeing about you. You know, a lot of times you, you have to understand your enemies see a lot of things before you do, especially if they, you know, they really harping on you and watching every little single thing you do. They they they're sensing something is is changing in your life, and then when they want to do that, they want to be a big part of that to make sure they can either if they can't either jump on that bandwagon with you to be able to leech off of that, they're gonna be trying to do everything they can to block that or make sure that you don't get it. So you you have to be very selective about what you talk about, very selective about what you share, and and, and just very uh, you know selective about who the heck you you know grow into attachments with. You know, and you have to be able to be into that way. So it's going through different things into your life. You know, a lot of times I tell people when people send you friend requests, a lot of times friend requests ain't friend requests. That message is just surveillance cameras. I have a lot of people that be hitting me up on Facebook and stuff like that. And I said, we ain't been, you know, we've known each other for years, but why all of a sudden us all something up? Um, mm, oh, you done sent something or somebody done said something, so you want to come back and see if it's true. You know, it's just like with my situation, a lot of people are just. All up in your business. And so I'm just like, oh, that's one of those. Mm, okay. <laughs> I'm not, no, I'm not accepting that. I'll just let it sit there for a minute until you, you know, you just lose interest or whatever. I don't do that. You know, I had different people, you know, drop me off Facebook because it was like I, my life wasn't about nothing. And all of a sudden you had this swift curve where a lot of stuff came into the, you know, the grapevine and a lot of people were just really coming back and even making different, you know, vi different, uh, you know, different accounts just to try to get in my life. I'm like, do you not? Okay. No, no, you know, I have to stop there. Like, okay, you know, being that. And it'll be just, you on that vibration now. And it's just like, when you started focusing on you, and you'll notice that within yourself. When you start focusing more about what I'm going in life like, look, I'm, I'm, you know, I got my tunnel vision. I got my focus. And I'm not going to allow nothing to stop me. And when you do that, I'm like, oh, you know, universe going, all, you know, universe doing, I know, we've been like, why does God and them do that to us? But this is like, they're really testing you. You know, if you know this is important into your life, we about to send some kind of resistance in your to into your life. We're gonna send a lot of tests in you, cause a lot of times you you know, like I said the other day, you've been tested left and right. Even your enemies is getting tested left and right. You know, just to see what you're, you know, just to see how you gonna handle certain things, how you gonna respond, are you even going to respond, or are you allowing, are you gonna allow this to throw you way off? You know, what are you doing? And you, you're you're really gonna be able to see that, and it'll be just different times where they're telling you, "Oh, you ace the heck out of that," or "Girl, you don't fumble, man, you don't fumble hell, you don't fumble hard on that one." But we're gonna give you another do over, and wait for a while, and then send something right back out there. We're gonna put it in a different vibe, and see if you're gonna, you know, put a little spin on it. You will understand what the heck they just sent you, you know. And you're going through these different things. It's just like, you know, when you got something that is coming into your life that is very precious precious very sacred into your life they're going to test you in every way because this is just like something they do not want you to mess up so when you're going through all these different things there you know you're getting tested you know all these different things is coming in to see if you're going to do the right thing or you're going to do what's selfish in your nature of doing things are you going to change your vibe because you could be that type of person that you're always always about self and don't care who you hurt as long as you can get by yourself and if you be on that vibration god won't see you you still about that vibe you know, are you, are you, what are you, are you growing from all of those different things? And, and, and going through so many different stuff into your life where you're really learning about yourself. Maybe you were that type of person that was like very self-absorbed. You know, you can be that. I, I mean, I even made it. I was like that for a while, you know, until I start seeing how my selfishness can really, you know, it can really hurt a lot of people and not just hurt a lot of people, but just hurt myself and within my own vibration. That mess come back on you. And that's why it was like, when I start holding accountability for myself, yeah, I was toxic. I had narcissistic traits, you know, but I really wanted to be able to heal from that. And when you're starting to heal from that, the, the main thing you can do, the first start, you being honest with yourself. I had toxic ways. You know, I, I was trying to do shortcuts to get to what I wanted. And it's just like, if I know if it was something very sacred and very good that, that was going to impact my life and have a huge impact on my life, you're going to have to go straight for it. You can't, you know, manipulate your way into it. You can't lie, connive your way, your, your way into it. And it's going to take a minute because you're learning different things about yourself, about way of life, you know, how to go about things. You know, a lot of times people can win off of being 
<laughs> you know, a manipulative. You know, sometimes it can. But if it's like, you know, if that's your way of life of how you always did things, you gonna learn a lot of lessons from that. And it was just like a lot of things that I did that, you know, I, when I went through a moment of transitioning, uh, you know, through healing and stuff like that, being forgiveness of myself, of how I hurt a lot of people. You know, there's a lot of things that in my life where I felt like, oh, I ain't going to see that person again, so I don't care how I make them feel. You know, and I used to be in that self-absorbed vibration. It's like, still, you, would you like that happening to you? How would you feel? You know, because I've had, that's how I went through life because there were so many people that always was out their way to hurt me. And so I felt like, hey, I'm going to just be joining on a bandwagon. It's just like, just because they're like that, don't make yourself be that way. You, you, this is not how you need to be. And I had to be, you know, I like that. You know, I had to be in my vibe because I always felt like since my life was so hurtful and my truth came out the way it did and it cut like a knife, I just didn't give a dag about nobody's dick on feelings. I didn't care. I was very cutthroat and I didn't really care. But it was just like, you need to be discerning. You need to be mindful. You treat people how you want to be treated. You know, if you don't want to be treated like that, you don't want somebody coming at you like that, don't dish something that you can't take. You know, you have to be that way. So you're learning so much about yourself. You know, when you're being honest, you know, I, a, I'm a work in progress. You know, I mean, now it's just like, I ain't even using that vibe. You know, you've been on a work in progress for a couple of years now. If you know you've been working on that, you're going to see my nose start itching like crazy when I say that. You're working in progress. Now you're putting the finishing touches on your masterpiece. You know you went through a lot. You know, you had to be on that. You probably been on a vibe where you're using the same verbiage for a long time. Now it's like... You know that it's kind of played out. You know it's kind of stale. Use something else. You know what, what? What's your drive in life? What are you? What are you trying to get to? What are you trying to and better about yourself? What, what, what kind of pinnacle are you trying to reach? What kind of accolades you can get to the upper echelon? All that different stuff. You trying to do that within your life. But when you're going through these different things, you're gonna have moments of tests coming left and right, left and right, left and right. You gonna have distractions just to see. Are you gonna be so focused, so focused on your pinnacles, like you like one of those Clydesdales, or you know, one of those beautiful horses they had? They got them little reflectors on where they stay focused. You know, you had to be able to put your little, you know, spiritual, you know, spiritual projectors on. Where I'm like, uh-uh, that's not part. Is, is that going to be a part of my 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 growth? No. You getting back at that person who want to come at you sideways? Is that going to be a part of your growth? No. Because a lot of times when stuff like that happens, it's just like a bring a bone to carry one. You stop talking about, talking to people, people start talking about you, you know. Or a lot of times people just be in your face just so they have something to go back and tell. You know, all these different things. Now it gets to that point where you start moving in silence. You start making a lot of people nervous because they're curious about you, you know. You don't know because it's like, man, they ain't, they ain't telling, you know, they're not tell, telling step by step what, what they're doing. It, this is like what life is really teaching. You already started seeing when you start talking about the things of your growth and you start wondering why, you know, it didn't fall through the way it did. Why, you know, negative energy got placed on that to where you're not even motivated about it anymore. Because these are the different things you talk prematurely about some stuff that probably people was around you that didn't even want to be seeing you grow. You know, it, 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 a lot of times people want to be attached to all the things you got going on. They ain't trying to help, but they want to be attached to that. And if they know they can't be attached, they're going to start blocking every daggone thing. Or I'll be telling, you know, go back and telling somebody something about you. Just to go run back and tell. These are the different things you're learning on your history. You have been saying, I've been, I studied, I studied hard. You know, I'm trying to be valedictorian over all my changes that are going on in my life. And I want to be able to do that because I learned very valuable lessons about what I should talk about, what I shouldn't talk about, what I need to make moves and, you know, real G's move in silence. You know, left hand can't know what the right one doing. A lot of times, don't be breathing, you, you know, about what things you got going on that's really going, you know, skyrocket you into the world. You ain't saying that. You know, what What you don't talk about, nobody can't block. They can't pray something. They can't breathe defeat into your life. When you're not, not saying anything, you're learning so much about what history has taught you about yourself. You have to be selective about, you know, who you are around. You know, being able to know. You new, meet new people. You learn so, not, so much about them, you know, within an hour. You know, so much about them within an hour. Those just about how they say things, how they present themselves, or they, they don't really want to talk. They want to know more about you. No, uh, -uh. <laughs> you you talk, I talk. I ain't about to tell you my whole life story. So you already know what you gonna filter out on what you you already gonna build up what you you know what you want to project towards me. This is something you know y'all both getting to know each other. It don't got to be a lover situation. You just be friends, whatever on whatever you're doing. 
you know, be able to see is this is, is this a vibration that you can really grow from, or is this going to be a, a a whole setback for you? You know, when you know you're moving and you're moving and and you know, being strategically, you know, in that vibe where you know I'm I'm trying to grow into life. I don't like what my life is being right now, and that's for me, you know, being around certain people or me slacking off on myself or feeling like things are going to, you know, I'm gonna just sit here and it's just going to fall into my lap. No, this is at that time you putting in work. You know, you really putting in that work for yourself and you really know I'm ready to see what I don't put out. Because it's all about what you put out into the world. You or you know you're going hard in for yourself and you really trying to be in that. That's what you're gonna eventually get. And you know, you doing something else, you gonna eventually get that back. Because everything come, you know, everything comes back to you, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna magnif you know, it's gonna manifest. And when it manifests it's gonna add on weight to it. So you gotta be very careful about what you put out. You know, out on everything, you know, and just be about that, you know, in life. So you already know all these different tests is coming up. It, it's it's touching you for a reason because it's like we we you know, universe knows you're growing. You know you're growing. Even if you're trying to find out where you, where am I sitting in my place in life, but if you're trying to find that, universe is gonna guide you towards that. But when you you gotta be able to speak to the Most High when you're doing it, because it's just like universe, God, you know, I'm really trying to be teachable. When you're trying to be teachable like that, you are. I'm like universe, I'm allow y'all to make moves for me so I can be guided by that. But you gonna also know they're gonna want you to depend on you as well. They don't want you to come in there for every five minutes about certain things. Like, look, you need to start thinking more on yourself. You've been doing that. But we, we, the real things, the real hard things where we understand that. But they want you to be able to have that confidence and belief in yourself. Because history is repeating itself. And once you know, you can test it. Let them know you study. Like, hey, I don't study. I understand what you're doing. I understand what you're bringing towards me. What you're selling, I ain't buying. Okay. So, I'm about to do me a, you know, a few card spread, like I said, I'm doing before, you know, these from your guys, where I've been guided to do that. Because, you know, you're going through in life, you're making, trying to make the best decisions for you, to, you know, that's going to be bettering for your growth. So, it's just, I love doing this. It's like, I did, this is like my third time doing it in my video, and I really like, you know, the messages that come out. Because it's like a lot of us is going through different things in our life, and we want to be able to understand, what, what, do, what do I have coming towards me? You want that, that, um confirmation of what's taking off and you really want to do that okay universe okay 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 two more three more okay okay all right okay i got I got seven cards. Seven cards right here. So it can all uh, resonate with you, or it's just certain ones that can resonate with you. But you know, I, I've been noticing that it, it's just like a lot of them just go hand in hand with each other. So if you have the first card, you got miracles coming in. You know, you may have been going through a lot of rough patches and it just seems like you've been going, hitting delay, delay, delay. You know, no matter what you do, it just seems like everything's going against you now. You're just going through a lot of changes. You want, you're clearing a lot of karma. You know, whatever you're going through, you're clearing your karmic debt. You, you know, you're paying, you know, you're giving, hey, you're putting, it, you're putting in your coins. You're putting in your flowers. You're about to get handed your flowers. So, there's like, just believe in yourself. Keep moving. Keep doing what they're doing. You know, you need to rest. You know, go ahead and rest. You know, you need to meditate. Show gratitude. Even when you're going through some real hateful stuff, you know, and you really don't feel grateful for nothing right now. Just show gratitude. You know, like God, universe, you know, you don't put me through all these different changes. And it's getting on my nerves. But I'm trying to show grace and gratitude towards it. I don't know where it's taking me right now. I may not see the blessings you're going to get me. Because a lot of times, the things that are being rejected or things are being blocked is for a betterment of ourselves. You don't know what was attached to whatever you were trying to go to or what person you were about to go, you know, be connected with. So, you know, those are the things that's protected for your benefit. So, and if you pick the, you know, you pick the second card, you got guardian angels. There may be a person or, you know, a song or a certain movie that comes up and it makes you think about, you know, certain people or even a certain phrase that comes up, a certain person that passed on comes up you know it's just like when i watch um mike from this chapter 
and he always says hey you and I always hear my girl you know uh, she always says that and I was just like you know and I light up and I get kind of heavy you know my heart gets heavy because I really miss her you know I've been missing a lot of my friends that passed away but it's just like you don't know you, you know they're a part of your life you know even though it, it feels like you know uh, it makes me think oh that song Jealous by uh, Labyrinth you know uh, it, it's just like you're happy without me you're you know you're going even though it's like a part of a loved one I feel like it's a part of a loved one but it could be a part of somebody that's going to break up that you're happy without me or you know they're gone uh, with, with that but uh, ooh, that's about to make me cry I don't want to think about that but anyways you know you got guardian angels all over the place they're guiding you and just talking about different stuff the test and stuff is going on if you uh, got the third one it's about um, ideas and inspiration you know, you may have been really happy about certain things that just give you that boost. Or be, maybe certain things that's coming up where you're like, I don't know if I can do that. I mean, I have the funds for it. Or I don't know the ideas. You know, I really want to do this, but I don't have ideas. Keep going. Keep, you know, get, if that keeps coming up to you. And it, it, even if you don't have the ideas for it, it's coming in. It's coming in. But they're telling you to really work at it. If you got to jot some stuff down, journal, you know, to tell your ideas to the most high. When you're doing different stuff like that. You know, because a lot of things are telling you, keep this to yourself. You know, <laughs> this is something that's in the making that's going to be something very huge for you. And these are certain things you cannot be speaking off to it to anybody. These are certain things you got to really keep into yourself and to you, to you know, it, this is something that cannot be fumbled. This cannot be, you know, set back. This cannot, you know, fall out. You know, th this is something that you really need to, you know, until it's concrete and nothing can be you know manipulate it into the you know the enemy's favor there's certain things that you really need to keep into yourself but if it keeps coming up go at it go okay just go at it even if you have to go from different directions just giving yourself a chance to do something new and this is something that is going to really you know bring some good vibes into your life that is really going to help you if you got the yeah fourth card you're seeing signs you can see it through animals, you can see it through numbers, you know, different symbolisms. You know, if you've been seeing stars, you know, you're a star, you're a star seed, you know, different things like that. Or you've been seeing different things that manifest about galaxy. You're a galactic, you know, you're a galactic angel, you're a galactic soldier. You know, you're going through a lot of different changes right now and, and it's showing you different signs. You're almost there. You're almost there. Don't give up. You know, things that may be heavy, you may be tired. It's okay. Rest. Take, you know, take the time. The last one was like rest and retreat. <laughs> you know, and you're going through that. You're going through that. So it's just the signs. Believe in what's going on. If you know you keep going at it, keep believing. It's going. It's coming out. It can be sooner than you think. So allow yourself to keep going. And this is like that manifesting. I just said that. You're manifesting something. Well, I said that about the different <laughs> you know what I was doing. you manifesting. You know? These are at your times where you're manifesting a lot. When you've been putting in work for that. Trust and believe, baby. It's coming. You know, but a lot of times it, it takes you a while to be able to do it. Because universe, it, it's just like when universe really knows this is going to really magnify your life in every way possible. Like this is setting off for your legacy. They're going to really make you go and work for that because they really want you to know when you finally get this, it, it ain't something you're going to slack on. This is not something like, oh, oh, oh I'm comfortable just right here. And that, no, you're going to keep adding towards that. Because a lot of times people are okay with just being, no, this is not for you. You you are not one of those type of people. You're going to keep adding towards that. You're manifesting something that is going to be attached even when you're not here anymore. So you keep going. And serenity, you need your peace. <laughs> you know you need your peace. You know, being able to do that. Now tell me to use this at the same card. This is the last card, enchantment. You know. You need your serenity because they're saying this this is going hand in hand for what the spirit just told me. You know, you you know, you need that peace. You need to be able to start seeing things in a better light. You know, I know a lot of times it's hard to do that when you got so much going on in your life. Trust me, I know. You know, but you're 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 coming out of that. It's always darkest before the dawn. You know, when you cry at night, the joy gonna come in the morning. You know, you have to be able to believe that. Oh my god, it's getting me in my feelings. Ugh. I'm not trying to be emotional. But you know, you're going through all these different things and, and you know, you've been going through a lot and the universe is knowing you've been trying to stick it out for the best of all of it and you know, you're going to have those moments where you're going to want to cry. You're going to have those moments when you're you, when you're all in your feelings that heart's heavy. You know, you're tired of going through different things. You're tired of people trying you. You're tired of people going out their way to try to block every good thing that's coming into your life. But that's all a part of the plan. 
when you got different things that's coming to seek and destroy every possible beautiful thing that's coming into your life. Because a lot of times the devil don't want you having that. The devil don't want you having that because he knows that's going to be something good on that. Or different people saying, no, that needs to be me. You know, if it was meant for them, they'll have it for that. You ain't got to be doing all that. You got that coming into your life. I was saying you about to go there. But you're going into it. Okay? If that means you need to sit back, have fun, listen to some music, play some video games. If that's what you need you used to do. Doing something that really sparks happiness into your life. And go ahead and do that. Okay? So a lot of these different things. And it's just like they're saying. The universe is saying all this stuff is. That all these cards are. You know, this is like in the spread. Like even though you pick these cards. All of them go together you know miracles are coming you got guardian angels that are really helping you guide you towards these miracles and showing you there you know you got ideas and inspirations that are attaching towards these miracles you know you're going through it see the signs you got signs that's coming in all the time it's telling you new beginnings is coming to you you know you're manifesting you know and the signs are coming into that from it manifesting you had that serenity had that peace into your life all the different things that comes into that vibe of what serenity means to you you know, and having that enchantment to you, like, believe, believe in magic. Because you are magic, baby. You know, 24 karat magic. <laughs> it made me think about that song with Bruno Mars. But, yeah, you're going through all that. And so I hope that was able, you, you were able to, you know, get something out of that. You know, I said I like doing that because it, you know, it just brings in good vibes when you can be able to understand, you know, what is what is confirmating to you. You Maybe you needed to hear that today. You know, to get you on into your week. Just keep going. You know, a lot of times uh, it'll be certain things will go on where you keep going and keep going, and you really ain't seeing nothing. And that that'll be, you know, God and you, know, you know, God and devil. You know, just seeing. You know, I want to put in some kind of upheavals into their life, different challenges. You know, and this is not to, you know, uh, make you you want to give up or anything like that. But just want to know how much are you willing to invest into this when you know that can really take you somewhere. Because a lot of times you're going to have different things that's going to come in and distract you. There's some kind of resistance, some kind of doubt that's going to come in. But when it's like when you're allowing yourself to not allow doubt to come into your life, you know, not allow what other people are doing to make you take take focus off of what's truly important. You know, going through these different things, you're going to have some things that's not going to be fair to you. You're going to have some things that make it feel like enemy winning over on you. But it's all about what you are wanting to fo focus on. What are you fixating on? When you fix on overcoming everything that's, that, that's possible, impossible, that you thought was impossible, you're proving it to yourself, not to proving it to other people. You know, knowing you want better into your life. You want to keep going through that and believing in that. And, it, you know, it, it'll be a lot of challenges you're really going to go through. But that's the reason why you have to be stepping out on faith, being able to understand these things are really happening for a reason. I'm being tested left and right. Yeah, they're being tested just to see if you, you, you know, are you going to allow something to get over on you? Are you really going to believe the lies that people are telling you? Or, you know, they're trying to act like, you know, they're being friends in your face, but they're really enemy. You know, low-key energy, low-key hating on you. You know, because they don't want to see something good happen to you, especially if they know they ain't going to be attached to it. Or just, you know, even if they could be attached to it, just don't want to see you win. You know, there's people out there that's like that. It's sad, but, you know, it's like that. But it's, you know, just to be able to help you. So, like I said, I'll leave my contact information in the description box below. As always, you know, it's just all about spiritual networking, just being able to understand the deeper purpose of, you know, your path of purpose on, you know, why certain things took place into your life, trying to find your purpose in life. You know, I love to be able to help people. It's like a student teacher situation. We're all helping each other. You know, there are certain things that you've overcome that, I, you know, I may be, you know, stumping, stumbling on, you know, and every vice versa, you know, just being able to help the vibe of that come up of what you're trying to do to better your life. You know, it's really beautiful. And I love to be a part of that. You know, I help out the best way I can. Whatever we speak on is confidential. You know, um, and on my my uh, community section, you know, I'll leave my uh, podcast there. I just started putting them back up again. You know, I got some more I got to be able to put on there as well. Um, what else was I going to say? Oh, yeah, my cash app is there too. If you ever want to be generous enough to drop a donation, it's greatly appreciated. You know, I hope you have a blessed, safe holiday. You know, all those is coming up, New Year's and you know, Christmas, whatever you, if you do celebrate that stuff, um, family gatherings, you know, it can be heavy and, you know, depressing or <laughs> whatever else it is, but I'm trying to send good vibes towards you, any kind of way you need it, it's happening, so, um, 
happy holidays please be safe and responsible every single thing you do you know even through social distancing make sure you give out love light positivity words by frequencies you know those things really takes my long way you know and just for you doing it with no kind of intentions but just want to see people heal and grow and be happy it can take you even further so much love to you you know uh namaste you know god bless shalom i say uh merry christmas uh Feliz Navidad, um, Happy Kwanzaa, and all those different things, and Hanukkah as well. Much love to you. Peace.